Welcome back. This is part two of making a platinum engagement ring. If you missed the previous video, please click on this link and watch part one first on how to make a collet for this particular engagement ring. So in today's video, we'll be focusing on making the band. So let's jump straight into it. If you are new to this channel, my name is Jan. I'm the Chunky Jeweler, where we focus on all things sparkly and how to make jewelry, um, how to repair jewelry, how to take care of your jewelry. And if that's something you're interested in, please consider liking and subscribing to our channel, where things might get a bit interesting. So enough blabbing, let's get into the video. So the video starts off where I mark out a section of metal now in a behind the scenes section I actually roll the metal thinner up to those lines and um, after I've done that I take the ring benders and I bend the ring round just a rough round shape you don't have to get it perfectly round it's a guideline your most important thing is that you keep the center the top in the center and your joint nice and flush that's what you want. You don't want to muck around with a joint that snaps and yeah, gets nasty. So after soldering the band together, I would then tap it round. And um, once it's nice and round and perfectly round, and every, everywhere around the ring touches the ring mandrel, then um, it's good to go. Then you can start cleaning up. So all I'm doing now is just filing the sides nice and parallel because in at the end I want a knife edge looking band that sweeps up to the collet. So that's that's the goal. Um, just a bit of fast, well, sped up video action going on, and um, that's just me filing the center bit. That's why it's important to keep your center marked. Of your ring so you know where to file before you actually set the collet in so I'm just tweaking that getting the sorry I can hear that garbage truck in the background <laughs> not a soundproof set at it by any means so just back to the video just checking that everything is nice and centered filing that swoop into the band essentially becoming a knife edge because the center will be cut away marked out the width of the collet and then that bit will get cut away so right now I'm using a Moore's discs a Moore's, Moore's disc and if you're not familiar with these they are very handy but they are very dangerous if you don't use them correctly you can stuff up your jewelry piece completely so I wouldn't recommend it for a novice but then again, if you are an old hand in jewelry making, you probably don't want to use them either because, yeah, it's tricky. I started with them when I was an apprentice, got guidance, stuffed up a lot of pieces, a lot of practice pieces got ruined because of Moistus, but now I've mastered the art and it's very handy. So, obviously I've been blabbing along, just been sandpapering, um, sanding the ring with the discs that I make myself I've got them up in previous videos as well how to make those and currently I've obviously marked the section where the collet needs to go and I'm busy cutting that section away so firstly I make sure that I've got the measurements correctly correct and then I cut Okay, now I've cut the piece away. Now I'm starting to see if the collar actually fits. Doesn't look too bad. Nice close up view of the ring and the collar. And look, obviously, it looks a lot easier than it is. 
I spent a lot of time making sure that the car was proper centered before I actually got set up for soldering. But you might make sure that everything is centered this way and this way. It doesn't talk to the side. But once you're happy with how it sits, you can apply some solder. Some nice platinum solder, make sure the nut joint is nice and strong. I always do the one side first. Make sure that everything is still lined up um, before I go and proceed to solder on the other side. So just, you know, I was quite happy with the way it set. set. I think I did tweak it a little bit because usually the heat causes the metal to move ever so slightly and I just like to make sure it's all back in proportion before I or on its marks before I solder the rest. So like I said in the previous video Please excuse what's happening behind me here, bit of a mess, um, I will explain everything at the end of part 3 and um, to bring you up to speed of what's going on, especially to all my um, viewers and followers that's been watching my crappy channel from, since the beginning and um, so yeah, I'll explain what's happening and also I'll make a separate video on what we are planning for 2024 so be sure to subscribe to the channel and to see what interesting stuff we have coming up for 2024